every farmer wants to leave their farm better than they found it, and soil health is the only way you can do that. You need to start to understand that and build upon that. And with soil health, even though we're farming it, we can put it back to as close of a state as it was before it was, was farmed. We're starting to understand how the natural systems were before we got here. And the more we understand that, the more long-term it's, it's gonna be beneficial to all our soil. By the year 2050, there's gonna be 10 billion people in the world. And somehow we need to figure out how we can feed those people using fewer inputs, because we have a limited number of inputs that will be available to us. It comes back to soil health and learning how to manage what we do, how it, how it affects not only the crop that year, but the crops the following years. I think we've just hit the tip of the iceberg, but there's gonna be a lot of changes in the next 35 years. And in order to feed those people, we're, we need to make those changes. We're still in the discovery stage of a lot of these things, but it's exciting times, it really is for agriculture.